Today, we're gonna to be looking at a gimbal. And I know what you're thinking. We already did this. That was the DJI Osmo 3. Today, we're looking at the OM4, the next generation by DJI. This is like their Osmo 4, but they just call it the OM. Check this thing out. It follows me all the way around. That's pretty sweet. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look at the next generation of the DJI OM gimbal. This is number four. All right, so let's unbox the DJI OM4. It is the new version of the DJI Osmo 3. It is our cell phone gimbal. All right, so this was purchased from Best Buy. I think the price was $150. The cool thing about this one is, look at this, create magnetic moments. Hmm, I wonder what that means. And here's the cool thing. It actually connects to your phone with a magnet. I think that is impressive because I was wondering, my phone seems too big for this thing. How are they gonna make it better? So you now have a magnet to hook on the back of your phone to connect to this. That's pretty cool. All right, so here's the unit. You can also opt to have the claw part here that goes on your phone, but for larger phones, now they have this little piece and you can actually hook it to your phone and there's your magnet. I really like that. Plus, it comes with a tripod, a little base, that's cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna read through some of the directions, I'm gonna set this thing up and we are going to test this thing out. Here's our first look, the OM4. It's a strong magnet, oh, ugh. yeah, that's a really strong magnet. All right, so the directions say a complete charge takes about two and a half hours. It looks like we're already two thirds there anyway, so we'll plug it in to get to the regular or get all the way full, and then it lasts for 15 hours. All right, so I did mention this, the little ring that it comes with that you can hook to the back side of your smartphone or the case of your smartphone if you have a larger one. It also comes with this plastic piece that you can set, so you make sure you center it because it's very important to keep it centered so the gimbal will work properly. The controls for this are very similar to that of the original. So if you have the original, you, um, you'll know how to use it. So like I said, I'm glad I came with the tripod. I'm going to plug this in, let this charge for a little while, and then we're going to go test it out. All right. This first video is of me on the four wheeler without the gimbal, just driving. Let's do this. All right, now here's that same row. I've got the gimbal hooked up. Let's see if there's a difference. All right, so I took the sound down here because the wind noise just got really bad and to save you from all that static, there's just very low sound. I just wanted you to know that. Okay, so here I'm showing you a head-to-head, -head, the camera without the OM4 and then the camera with the OM4. There's a clear difference with the stability of the overall footage and just how smooth it looks. So the one on the left, absolutely no gimbal. The one on the right, there you have it. The gimbal looks better. Here I'm gonna show you one of my most favorite features and that is the tracker mode for the gimbal. I love that I can highlight myself and the phone will follow me. So. Let me set this up. I know you can't see the video on here, so I'll picture it in so you can see what I'm showing you, but let me set this up to track me now. I'm gonna record for you what that looks like. Down, up, left, right. It's really responsive and it's pretty cool. This is absolutely one of my favorite features of the gimbal. So now it's very simple 
to send a video of myself or record a video of myself and that's gonna follow me so tell me what do you think of these gimbals do we need them have you used one let me know down in the comment section below I would love to hear from you you know what I'm gonna do now I'm actually gonna use the app the DJI Mimo app and I'm gonna film a time-lapse video we've got some serious clouds happening out today and I'm gonna show you that right now now there are many different things that you can film in a time-lapse format but I thought these clouds looked really sweet I ended up filming like 20 minutes of this stuff and of course I cut it down here but it is really really cool how this cloud pattern moved in and just as quick as it came in it moved right out my biggest complaints of the third generation of the DJI Osmo um, was you couldn't use larger phones and like if you see this and I know my camera has to be that direction so if I try to strap this thing on to get it to fit it doesn't even go around it and if I could even get it and I can't um, it could pop off pretty easily and that's really frustrating because you kind of rule out these bigger phones until now they actually had these that came with it and you're supposed to adhere it here and so when you go and clip it boom the phone will connect let's install it now so the first step was simply to clean it there are two wipes a wet and a dry i've already done that and then i have to put this over top to center it now you might notice that there are different grid lines for different size phones well unfortunately my phone is still too big so what i'm doing is i'm measuring the distance between these two lines and sort of centering it the best that I can. So let me real quick check that. Once I get it centered, I'm going to glue on the piece. I now have it where I want it. I'm gonna peel off this back end. And you wanna fit it in exactly how it says. And you just push and hold. We're gonna hold it there for about 40 seconds and then we're gonna test it out. Now that it's been installed, you notice it's got this little ring that you could hold on to. People like holding their phones by those. And there is a part um, that it links to. You notice there's this indentation here, this part here. Well, it goes to this cutout right here. So we hook it on and there it is. Our phone, our big giant phone now works on here. I mean, right now it's off, so it's not gonna work, but that's cool. I really like that feature now. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through some of the features, not all of them because I did that in my previous video and the features are relatively the same. Um, and so I'll link that other video at the end. So right now we're in standby mode. And so if I hit the button twice, it brought me here. Now I am in portrait mode and I hit this button now two more times. And it took me to landscape mode. That's pretty cool. On um, this button on the back, if I tap it, it's gonna recalibrate to center the screen. I tapped it two times and it recalibrated. I've got a record option. I can pan with this button right here. So if I move, I can move this up and down by pushing left, right, up, down, that kind of thing. So that's kind of cool. Um, there's lots of different features on here. I just wanted to show you them. Most importantly, you're using your phone and uh-oh, I gotta take a call. Well now because it's magnetic, I just pop it off and I take my call. I could do that with this one and I could do it if I'm using my larger phone. I gotta make sure I put it on the right way. I can just pop it right off and take my phone call. I love that feature. In this video, we are looking at the DJI OM4. It's the fourth Osmo. They didn't call it Osmo this time, um, but that's what it is. It's their newest gimbal. I will say, I didn't show this in the video, but in order to use this, you actually have to update the app. So if you had the DJI Mimo app before, you have to update it, and then you're most likely gonna have to update the firmware. I did not show that on video, just know you have to do that. Now, is it worth the upgrade? Because I have the third edition, so is it worth it? For me, absolutely. Primarily because my phone choice. This phone would not work in the three. The clamp is just not big enough, and I love having the magnet here and there, and I have a magnet on the back. So now I can use it anytime, and it's really convenient and versatile for me. Now, at the time of this video, it was about 150 bucks. I did purchase it from Best Buy. Um, that's the only retailer I could find it at. If you don't care about the clamp, to be honest with you, number three is just as fine, and it's about $50 less. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link down in the description for the third one, and when the fourth one comes out on Amazon, I'll put that 
there too. This was my review of the DJI OM4, the newest edition of their gimbal. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. In this video, we were looking at the DJI OM4, but you know what? I referenced number three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link that review video up here. And you're going to want to check that out if you want to see more of the features of this and how to turn the camera back and front and all that good stuff. So I'm going to link that video right up here. I would love it if you would click on it. And by the magic of the internet, when you click on this review, I'm going to join you right over there. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.